Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about addition of mixed numbers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here two different examples na kung saan susubukan natin mapabilis yung computation nyo pagdating sa mixed numbers. So here's the thing. Yung iba, ginagawa nila, they are converting this into an improper fraction. Pero medyo matagal yun dahil meron ka pang process on how to convert mixed number to improper fractions. So, dito ang gagawin natin is this. Una, is that I will add the whole numbers, 5 and 6, and that is 11. So, we have 11. So, the thing here, is still have to add 1 third and 2 over 5. So, that is 11 plus 1 over 3 plus the other fraction, which is 2 over 5. So, mapansin nyo, yung 11 natin, it came from the sum of 5 plus 6. So, that is 11. So, what remains here is that we need to add 1 third plus 2 fifth. So, ang gagawin ko dito ngayon, sa so 1 third and 2 fifth natin, instead of getting the LCD or yung proper way, kukunin ko yung ano nila, yung least common multiple nila, para magkaroon tayo ng greatest common, ah, ng mismong least common denominator. So, kung mapansin nyo, we have 3 and 5, ba? Alam naman natin, ang kanilang least common denominator is 15 by getting their least common multiple. So, ang tanong dito, anong kailangan kong ipang multiply sa 3 para maging 15 siya? Okay, very good. Kailangan tang natin i-multiply yung 3 by 5. Siyempre, yung numerator nyo rin, kailangan nyo i-multiply by 5. By the way, guys, Ano bang purpose ang ginagawa ko? Bakit ko siya ginagawa ngayon ito? ba? Mas madaling mag-add ng fractions kapag parehas ang denominator. So, ang target natin, magkaroon sila ng common denominator. And for the other fraction, 2 over 5, since kailangan natin maging 15 to, ang kailangan natin gawin is to multiply your denominator by 3 as well as your numerator, also by 3. So, simplifying this, this will give us 11 plus, itong fraction natin, 1 times 5, that is 5, over 3 times 5, which is 15. And for the other fraction, that is plus, 2 times 2, ah, uh, 2 times 3, rather, 2 times 3, that is 6, over 5 times 3, which is 15. And as you can see, meron na tayong common denominator, in which, napakadali na mag-add nito. So, ito, this is 11, plus your fraction, which is 5 plus 6, 11, and then copy your 15. And to finalize your answer, 11 plus 11 over 15, the final answer is 11, and 11 over 15. Medyo matagal lang tayo kasi sinubukan kong explain step by step yung ginagawa natin shortcut. Pero kung sanay na kayo dito, mas magi mabilis ang inyong computation. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we have 4 and 2 over 3 plus 5 and 1 fourth plus 7 and 4 over 5. The question here, sir, um, tatlong fractions or tatlong mixed numbers na yan. Medyo mahirap na yan para sa amin. Don't worry kasi we can still apply the process na ginawa natin in example number 1. First, I will add the whole numbers. 4 plus 5 is 9 plus 7. That would give us the answer of 16. Okay? Six, meron tayong 16 ngayon. Plus, yung fractions natin, which is 2 thirds plus 1 fourth plus 4 over 5. Kung mananotice nyo guys, naglagay rin ako ng spaces dito para dito natin nilagay yung multiplier natin. So dito, we have 3, 4, 5. Sir, what is the, the least common multiple? Ang gagawin ko rito, I will multiply them na lang. 3 times 4, that is 12. Times 5, that would give us 60. Meron tayo ngayon kailangan gawing 60. So, meron tayong 60 rito na kailangan tayong consider. Okay, 60. Now, isipin nyo ngayon, anong kailangan nyo ipang multiply para gawin yung 60 yung 3? Or pwede rin naman siguro, is 60 divided by 3. Pwede po yun. 60 divided by 3, and that would give you the answer of 20. You need to multiply 3 by 20 para maging 60 siya, pati ang kanyang numerator. 
Let's see how about the other fraction. Same process. 60 divided by 4. That would give you the answer of 15. So this is times 15. And then times 15. Pwede yung pwede yan. And for the last fraction, 40 over 5. So ang mo dito ngayon, 60 divided by 5, which is 12. So you will multiply your numerator and denominator by 12. And then, multiply the numbers. So we have here, 16 plus 2 times 20, which is 40 over definitely 60 plus 1 times 15, that is 15 over 4 times 15, which is 60. And then for the third fraction, this is 4 times 12, this is 48 over 60. And as you can see, nakuha natin yung objective natin na maging parehas yung denominators. Now, we need to add them. We have the 16 plus, ito, yung numerator natin. We have 40. I will use this space. We have 40 plus 15 plus 48. So this is 0 plus 5 plus 8, which is 3, carry 1, 1, okay, 1 plus 4, 5 plus 1, 6 plus 4, which is 10. So this is 103 over 60. Copy natin denominator natin. So next thing na kailangan nyo gawin is to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. Pero itong gagawin ko ngayon, we can break down 103 into two different parts. Ito ha, 16, di ba? 16 plus, yung 103 natin over 60 is the same as 60 over 60 plus 43 over 60. Parehas lang yan. Again, the proper way is to convert this. Again, a disclaimer lang. Is, is to convert this into a mixed number. Pero ito ang yung ginawa natin, syempre, different way. I need to provide a different solution. Yung 60 over 60 natin is definitely equal to 1. So magiging 1 siya. This is 16. So 1 plus... 1 plus... Uh, 16 plus 1 is 17. Plus 43 over 60. So ang final answer natin ngayon, guys, ay ito. So dito na ilalagay, guys, ha. Is 17 and 43 over 60. This is the answer for item number 2. So I hope guys na natuto kayo sa mismong video natin on how to add mixed numbers. So if you're new to my channel, please do like and subscribe para mas updated kayo sa mismong videos natin. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!